This is an experiment we did to show students that uh, stuff is made of particles. So I have two things here, two different liquids. One is alcohol, one's water. And I'm going to mix them. Right now there's 50 milliliters of each. Uh, why don't you predict what you think there will be when I mix them together? Let's go ahead and do that now. All right, what do you think? Lift this up a little bit. Turns out there's 100. That's probably what you would have predicted. There's only about 97 milliliters. What happened to the other three milliliters? Well, believe it or not, this is actually evidence that stuff is made of particles. Uh, the alcohol and the and the uh, the alcohol and the water are actually two different size particles. This can represent, for example, the water, the little BBs here, and these could represent, this could represent the alcohol, the marbles here. You'll notice they're different sizes, and so when you mix them together, awkward pause, sorry, when you mix them together, how much will you end up with? Well, you'll see, i throw some marbles in here. And I mixed some BBs in. Oh, I forgot to show you. I had 200 milliliters of each one to start with. So how much will I end up with? Mix those in. I end up with about 350 instead of 400 try to get a level for you. So I end up with about 350 instead of 400. Why is that? Well, the larger particles have spaces between them, and when you mix the two together, the small particles can fill that extra space. So that's actually evidence that things, like liquids that we had here, are actually made of particles. And that leads us into the early late 1700s, where we can talk about Dalton and his discovery and of the atom. Well, Dalton actually uh, figured out that atoms, well, he proposed that they're the smallest objects and that they're undividable. Drew a little model of the atom over there, just a round blob. And we no longer exactly think that today, but we think pretty similar. As you move down here, um, we find that atoms of the same type make up what we call elements. I tried to illustrate that over here. So if you look over here, my example is you have a hydrogen atom here. There's just one of them, notice that. But if you had a whole bunch of them, we'd call that an element. Likewise, oxygen here. If you had a whole bunch of oxygen atoms, you'd call that the element oxygen. He also figured out that two or more elements can join together to make a compound. This is how we get a lot of variety we see on our planet today because there's really only so many atoms that we have, or elements that we have. If you look at the periodic table, there's a little over a hundred of them. We have way more than a hundred different things, so how do we get all that variety? The answer is we take and we can combine these two things into what are called compounds. So for example, if I take my hydrogen atom and another hydrogen atom and an oxygen atom, I can create something new called water. And we can do that with a whole lot of things on the periodic table. So those are the three basic things he figured out. Atoms are the smallest thing. Atoms make up elements. And if you combine elements, you can get compounds.